Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I got an email asking me to turn off the lights so they could see the effectiveness of this headlight. So I've taken the headlight, I don't know if you can see it now, I've installed it in a pre-war Marks Commodore Vanderbilt. So as you see, that bulb is in there, it is really flat. So anyway, going to be the first trip around the rail in a Commodore Vanderbilt with the lights turned off. So as you can see, that is actually quite bright. Now there's about 40% power on the transformer. As you can see, that is incredibly bright. It's much brighter than the incandescent bulb at this speed, or this power setting. It's a good, intensely bright white light. And it creates no halo, so there is no light coming out the bottom of the locomotive or around it. So it's actually quite effective for a headlight, as you can see. It doesn't get hot. It's smaller than the incandescent bulb. It will fit in virtually any uh, Mark shell or Lionel, for that matter, that takes an E10 based bulb. As you see, it works. So it's a permanent replacement. It costs a buck. No muss, no fuss. Just screw it into the socket and put it on the rail. It'll run on AC, as you see. So it's effective, it's efficient, doesn't get hot, it's cheap, that being a relative term. Best of all, of course, is the fact that it's permanent. You see, it doesn't dim until you virtually turn the power off. So anyway, just a quick follow-up on that uh, new bulb. As you see, it's interesting looking. It's super flat, it's small, it doesn't get hot at all. It's intensely bright, it's cheap, and it's permanent. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.